In this video, I'll be dropping some alpha, how I plan on turning 5K into $1 million. It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. So if you like the videos about alpha, I put this one together, really helping people learn how to build out a portfolio, what narratives to look for, and how you can potentially put yourself to turn anywhere from 1,000 to 5K into 100,000 to $1 million. So if you like videos like this, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneur inside the algorithms. Taking a look at the altcoin market cap, this is a very important, and very important part of the video family. Just as you can see on the weekly here, we are completely oversold. So with all the bullish catalysts that we coming out, that we have coming out from stuff like a Fed pause, potentially family, uh, the debt ceiling, a deal being reached. Hong Kong, just a lot of positive news out there. We could possibly see altcoins start to go parabolic. So in this video, I want to help you guys pretty much give you an idea of what I personally look for when building out a portfolio. Now, full full transparency is always good to have a little bit of bitty, a little bit of Bitcoin, a little bit of Ethereum in your portfolio. This video will feature neither. I'm going to show you what I'm looking for as far as narratives, why I'm picking these narratives, and also what I look for in cryptocurrencies as I continue to DCA and sometimes, in some cases, add new bags. So you can see right here, family, that the first narratives that I want to actually talk about is stuff like AI, GPU. Now, the reason that I'm bullish on AI, family, we've seen from NVIDIA that the... Um, that the AI narrative is here to say we saw about three to four months ago that AI literally took over with chat GPT and then we got a resurgence of AI after NVIDIA was able to reach trillion a trillion dollar valuation so this tells me that AI cryptos and even GPU cryptos will possibly be one of the hottest cryptocurrencies in the crypto market now I'm not going to give you the specific percentage or what to allocate if you want those allocations join the patreon links will be in the description what I'll be looking for as far as AI and the GPU narrative are crypto projects like AGIX, SDAO, CheckDot, Akash Network, which falls into the GPU, and of course, Render Token. Also, family, I want to note that there are a plethora of different AI tokens that you could choose for choose from these are just some of my personal favorites and of course this video is about my crypto adventure another narrative that i'm very bullish on is layer twos when you look at layer twos like polygon for instance they have some of the best partnerships in the space partnerships like disney they have a gaming studio they've partnered with the uh, likes of dr disrespect rolling out a game for dr disrespect some of the most popular influencers are part of the polygon team i also look at layer twos like arbitrum which is the biggest layer two i expect arbitrum to be one of the most bullish cryptocurrency projects going into the next bull cycle because the ecosystem is so huge and it perfectly complements ethereum outside unlike should i say unlike polygon which is still um technically a layer one until they really roll out their zk and they lure layer two so again a lot of people would call polygon a layer two one we haven't fully got there just yet but polygon in the future will also be one of those projects that plan on complementing ethereum so i do like polygon i do like arbitron and there are a plethora of different micro caps and small cap layer twos that could possibly do well for layer twos i specifically want to focus on the ones that can gain the more most institutional interest in the ones that actually complement ethereum the most so looking at what ethereum is and how deflationary it has become especially in the midst of a next bull cycle so many erc20 tokens will be minted so i mean ethereum itself is going to go crazy you know ethereum itself is going to go to 10 grand and if you was looking to uh fade ethereum you know the perfect fade would be to to you know pick up on these layer twos that actually complement ethereum and you'll also see a lot of meme coins being built on uh, layer twos like Arbitron. So Arbitron, Polygon, those are my layer twos. I would always want to have layer twos in my portfolio. I just think it is a very, very, very important component of your portfolio. The next uh, narrative I want to talk about is layer ones and infrastructure. So layer ones and inf infrastructure, my favorite projects that actually fall under this narrative are Hedera. Of course, Hedera has one of the most bullish uh, teams. Um, they have a governance council that's pretty much um, covering the, uh, the the governance council that pretty much uh, 
uh, has some of the biggest tech giants on the um, on the council, and they have one of the fastest uh, technology out there. They're ESG compliant, and also family to have one of the most consistent uh, fees, so you know what you're get, getting every time that you use the Hedera technology. In fact, I think Hedera is going to get massive institutional interest. Also, like Jasmine, because <laughs> I do videos on Jasmine all the time, so I'm not going to talk too much about Jasmine, but y'all know why I'm bullish on Jasmine. Quant, because I feel like Quant is the TCP IP, the messaging system that's actually going to deliver and pretty much uh, deliver interoperability between cryptocurrency, the traditional market, and even they'll be focused on stuff like tokenization. Cosmos Atom is also a good project for interoperability. And if you wanted to fade one of the layer one narratives, you could probably go to something like Oracle's um, Chainlink is the best and the greatest Oracle project out there. And Chainlink is actually also being utilized by a lot of uh, uh, institutions as well. So, you know, Chain Chainlink itself has massive institutional um, interest. I think Chainlink will also be huge. I don't have that listed, but I do want it, you know, wanted to speak on that because I think that uh, Oracles is also a bullish narrative. It actually was one of the narratives that did really well in the last bull cycle. We also want to focus on stuff like centralized exchanges, Crow, LCX, that's self explanatory, and even decentralized platforms, stuff like Dex Tools, Pancake Swap, Uniswap. We've seen in the meme coin craze family that everybody wants to use dex tools everybody wants to use pancake swap uniswap it is very very important when building out your portfolio that not only do you invest into centralized exchanges but you also invest into decentralized exchanges so i want to keep that fresh on your mind because i think a lot of people think like well i'm gonna just invest into these centralized exchanges when a lot of that um, use uh, um, a lot of the use case um, and a lot of the use of um, exchanges will also in liquidity should I say will also fall you know into the centralized exchanges too so make sure you have a few you know decentralized exchanges in your portfolio of course gaming family this is one of my biggest holdings in my portfolio because gaming will usher massive crypto adoption stuff like gala hello TV shows, Illuvium, which is the first game on Ethereum, IMX, which has a partnership with GameStop. Gaming is probably, you know, one of those uh, narratives where I, that I think needs to be one of the biggest holdings in your portfolio because everybody interacts with games. Games aren't going anywhere. Games are moving to Web3. We just seen GTA drop a bombshell and say the next GTA Grand Theft Auto will be play to earn. And if Grand Theft Auto is play to earn, best believe Call of Duty will, will come around. Activision, all this stuff will come around. So you want to make sure that you have gaming projects in your portfolio that's probably going to be some of my biggest holdings because i am extremely bullish on gaming i know what it offers as far as massive adoption and it gives people their chance to interact with cryptocurrency without psychologically interacting with crypto for money or monetary purposes and that's what you want when investing in the crypto you want people to interact with it blindly without having to feel like it's all about the bag i'm seeing what gala a lot of people are having fun with playing grit they're having fun with playing this game let me know in the comments if y'all want to see me do some grit gameplay i've been really thinking about that also of course memes and community tokens this is probably where you're going to make your most gains from family you know you know screw what everybody else is saying you feel me i love utility i love use case but memes and community tokens are probably where you're going to make your most gains at family so stuff like pepe ladies rfd elon strong community tokens shiba inu vote inu there's so many out there choose a community jump in it self-explanatory y'all know all about memes now a lot of people sleep on DeFi, DeFi lending protocol stuff like like tectonic beefy finance i think that is a you know you don't have to have a big allocation to DeFi, but i think DeFi, the narrative also will real do well um rwa real world assets tokenizing real world assets i think that outside of ai this will probably be the biggest narrative in the next bull cycle um me personally i'm looking for micro caps to actually fit into that um narrative i like rio if you don't know what rio is um very very bullish on rio i've done um, videos on it man rio is one of the most bullish protocols relio should i say is one of the most bullish um projects that fall under the narratives of real world assets and tokenization also leox um galio protocol that's the protocol that's built under i believe quant or lcx man another one that's that, that's probably the best um 
um, project that falls under the tokenization because they're not just doing real estate, corporate real estate. They're literally t trying to tokenize everything from watches, uh, bonds, gold, anything you can think of. Galea Protocol is working to tokenize. Another uh, narrative that I think is probably the most slept on family is derivatives and ZK rollups. Um, just like tokenization, these are trillion dollar narratives. These are trillions of dollars roll into tokenization, trillions of dollars roll into derivatives, um, synthetics, derivatives, synthetics, stuff like that, uh, ZK rollups. So I'm looking at uh, synthetics, SNX, Mina Protocol, Dust, because it's already regulatory and compliant ready. Feel free to pop. Pause the video if you got to pause the video and do your research on some of these projects and some of these narratives, family. Guarantee that a lot of these narratives will all um, will offer awesome gains after the next halving cycle. So I'm very bullish on derivatives, um, roll ups, ZK roll ups, and of course, tokenizing real world assets. Now, what I look for when picking these cryptocurrencies, okay, because there's a bunch of cryptocurrencies that fall on these narratives, but people don't understand what to look for. So this is what I actually look for. Like and subscribe if you're getting some alpha from this video, family. So I look for stuff like tokenomics, compliance, family. Um, I, I Well, first, let's start with tokenomics. Tokenomics, I look for, as far as tokenomics, I look for limited scarce supply, all right? I'm looking for projects that have limited and scarce supply. Um, For instance, let's say something like Elmo, something that's constantly um, being hyper-deflationary, Crow, Ethereum. These are projects that will appreciate over time and award you massive gains because the supply is limited. Look at something like Bitcoin. Then you got micro caps like CheckDot that have the same supply as something like a Bitcoin, but nobody knows about it. Nobody talks about it. So you want to set yourself up with some of these micro caps, but also do your research because micro caps is not for everybody. In fact, if you're a person that's just investing $1,000 into crypto, you might want to diversify. You don't want to just put it all into blue chips because you won't see massive gains. You won't become a crypto millionaire um, if you got $1,000 and you're just buying um, blue chips. You have to take some type of risk, not financial advice, but you have to take risk if you want to get to the rewards. I also look for stuff like compliance, regulation, projects that's compliant. I sold 222 projects. I look for community hype i want the hypest projects the ones that's always trending everybody's talking about it burns hyper deflationary i'm looking for projects that's constantly depreciating over time as far as the supply um oh depreciate uh appreciate we depreciating appreciating y'all know what i mean hyper deflationary i also look at the volume this is one of the sleepers that a lot of people don't pick up on if you got a project that's that's worth uh let's say 20 million dollars in market cap i want to see that volume 5 million 10 million or at least the same as the market cap so i want projects that people are actually interacting with interacting with the chains i want high volume projects especially with micro caps it shows me that there are interests. I should have put open interest. I'm also looking for projects that have the highest open interest. That tells me people are interested in the project. Um, as far as the... Um some of these blue chips and even micro caps i'm looking for utility real world use case there are micro caps that have real world use case that nobody talks about because everybody's focusing on meme coins okay make sure you diversify five projects that actually have real world use case like jasmine that actually can deliver a product and actually earn a income from product or even you know exchanges or decentralized exchanges that make um, make an income off fees okay find products that actually earn an income because those are some of the projects that's going to do best in the next cycle also look at um tvl and of course income we just talked about that so those are some of the top um, narratives but also what i personally look for when shopping for cryptocurrency let me know what you think about these narratives let me know what you personally look for let me know what projects you are personally um, bullish on let me know if this is some of your portfolio i want to know you guys honest opinion make sure you leave a comment if you got some value interact with the video as far as engagement like and subscribe let me know what your favorite narratives it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you in the next one